Hey everyone, it's Matthew here at Midland Pictures. Looks like Apple just dropped the Final Cut Pro 10.6.1 update with a lot of bug fixes and stability improvements. Let's check it out. So we're gonna go over looking at the release notes, show you how to back up Final Cut Pro 10.6 before you upgrade to 10.6.1, and we're gonna double check a couple of things if the 10.6.1 update requires a library update. And we're also gonna check to see if my main issue with Final Cut 10.6 on my Intel-based quad-core Mac Pro from 2013 was an issue with audio waveforms taking forever to render. We're gonna see if any of that got fixed. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do before you upgrade to 10.6.1 is navigate to your applications folder and you're gonna to wanna to look for Final Cut Pro. And then I always toss that into a folder where I have all of the old versions of Final Cut. So I'll make a new folder that says 10.6 and I'm gonna copy Final Cut Pro 10.6 into there. You wanna do this because if you run into any issues with an update to Final Cut Pro, let's say you're in the middle of a project, whatever, you need to be able to roll it back. And you can very easily roll back your Final Cut Pro installation by deleting it out of the applications folder and then copying back into the applications folder your older version. Now on this machine, I have not done the update yet. And for some of you out there that are looking for the update, you might go to updates in the uh, Mac App Store here looking for Final Cut Pro to automatically register as an updatable app, especially if you don't have a notification down in your dock that, that it's uh, been updated. What we'll do in the App Store app is search for Final Cut Pro, and then we'll navigate to it. You'll see it switches from open to update, and it shows here that we have 10.6.1. And right here, they have a little bit of the information. These are only four of the things that are listed in the release notes. Fixes an issue that could prevent a successful import of FCP XML 1.9 and 1.10 files. Fixes an issue where the Command Z keyboard shortcut. I saw this one pop up in some of my Final Cut Facebook groups for our friends that use the Spanish language for their system settings. Fixes an issue in the export file share destination where the video codec setting was unavailable. I don't know if I've heard of that one. And then of course, here we go. Improves reliability during playback of AC3 audio. I think this one's going to be related to my personal issue and a lot of other people who are having issues with the audio waveforms. For a lot of us who didn't have Monterey installed and were running 10.6, especially on an Intel machine, we were seeing ridiculously long times to not only generate those waveforms, but to update them if we were zooming in and out of our timeline or blading and edit. So let's go ahead and do this update and then we'll switch over to the Final Cut Pro release notes on their website and talk through those. All right, so these just dropped the release notes. I checked them just a little bit ago and they weren't there. So we've got 10.6.1. So we already reviewed these first few. Fixes an issue in the export file share destination where the video codec was unavailable. Uh, improves performance when opening large libraries. This was a huge issue for a lot of Final Cut users. It was taking forever to open up large libraries. Some people couldn't even get them to open. They'd be waiting for so long. Uh, so they must have done something in this to fix it. So that's gonna be a, a big help to a lot of you out there who have been having large library opening issues. Improves reliability during playback. We just talked about that one. Stability when removing audio effects in the inspector. I don't recall having any issues with that. I had issues where I would put audio keyframes on my audio in the timeline and Final Cut was crashing like crazy because of that. Stability when opening projects from the browser. Stability when previewing effects in the effects browser. Stability when dragging clip ranges to keyword collections, which I didn't experience that either. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Final Cut Pro. Double check that this is 10.6.1, it is. All right, so we got the what's new in Final Cut Pro screen. So yeah, it doesn't look like there is a library update associated with the 10.6.1 update. But let's go ahead and open up an edit and I'm going to see if audio waveforms generate and regenerate any faster. Still seems like it's kind of slow. Now, specifically mentioned AC3 audio. Honestly, I don't know if the audio on my C300 Mark II is AC3 audio, but I'm not seeing waveforms here. Okay, so there we go. So getting some waveforms to pop up. Now, so these are all, you know, for the most part generated. Now the issue comes up when you try to zoom in or zoom out. It takes forever for it to regenerate after that. And that's good. Okay, so this could be progress. All right, so we've got all of this still needing to go. Let's see how long it takes. 
still slow. I mean, I don't love having to sit here and wait like this, but you know, maybe be with the 10.6.1 update, it's got to replace the waveform render files by re-rendering them uh, from scratch. So, you know, I'll cut Final Cut some slack here while it does its thing. And as long as I can zoom in and out, um, then I'll say for me, my biggest issue with the update to 10.6 will be resolved. Obviously keyframing some of the audio, which was causing crashes early on in the 10.6 usage, but not as much later on. And especially wasn't happening with Monterey running on my brand new 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro with 10.6. Now on this computer, I'm running Big Sur, the latest version of Big Sur. So that combined with 10.6 and it being an Intel machine with all the under the hood improvements Apple has released for Final Cut Pro, you know, all of that could have been the issue. And you know, anytime there's a release without any kind of beta program, Final Cut doesn't really have a, like a public beta for them to test all these bugs. That initial release is going to be that beta test in essence. And that's why what three weeks later we're seeing 10.6.1. All right, so it's almost done rendering all the waveforms in my timeline, and then hopefully zooming in and zooming out is gonna be no problem at all. Okay, so this is way better. It's pretty responsive with the waveform. I feel like I could... <laughs> it's still kind of slow. Now this doesn't really happen on the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. It's pretty, pretty much there the whole time, the audio waveforms, and this is what I expect. I expect the audio waveforms on zooming in and zooming out to pretty much populate immediately. And so that makes me feel much better. All right, so I think that's probably going to cover it. We went over the release notes. There have been a lot of issues from different users in the Facebook groups that I'm in. Yeah, Final Cut Pro 10 editors, Final Cut Pro users, Final Cut Pro user group. I know there's some subreddits too for Final Cut Pro that I'm a member of that I don't check as frequently as Facebook, but these are great places for you to show any issues that you're having with Final Cut and have um, some corroboration between other users that maybe some issues that you're having are happening to other people as well and we can all sort of band together and make sure that we're reporting to apple through the feedback option what we're experiencing and that feedback option if you go up to final cut pro um, and then provide final cut pro feedback uh, you can let them know of any bugs or issues feature requests anything that you want to give them feedback on with final cut pro and they take a look at all of this uh, you know i'm sure there's a lot of information coming in but it's a great way to feel like you can communicate with the final cut pro team and have your voice heard with any issues feature updates, requests that you have with the application. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions, if you have any issues that you were experiencing in Final Cut Pro 10.6 and you have found that 10.6.1 fixes them or that it does not fix them. If you're a big Final Cut Pro user, uh, a lover of Apple tech, definitely subscribe to this channel because I post about Final Cut Pro tutorials as well as videos when they release updates to the application. So definitely click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And the best way to support the channel is to click the like button below. That really helps me to get picked up and noticed by the YouTube algorithm and get this video in front of as many people as possible. Thanks everyone for watching. Until the next one, I will see you all soon.